Kent, there's some pushback tonight to political reaction to protests in Milwaukee and around the country. Only on 12, WISN 12 News Nick Bohr just talked with Milwaukee's sheriff, who today launched a taxpayer-funded message asking residents to support law enforcement. Black Lives Matter! The scenes in Milwaukee, Ferguson, and around the country in recent weeks, and mostly the political response to them, have prompted Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark to go on the radio with a direct appeal. The next time you see an officer, stop them and thank them for their service. They need that. Can I count on you? Clark's message is clear, saying law enforcement is under attack. Opportunistic politicians in high profile positions are bending over backwards trying to score some cheap political points. Aided by cop hating anarchists, they're slandering your community's finest. Are we perfect? Far from it. But our communities would collapse into chaos without us. Most people get that. I just got sick and tired of seeing my profession being trashed. Clark says the national discussion about race is needed, but it needs some balance. Our character, our integrity is being maligned. We're being painted as a bunch of bloodthirsty, racist. Uh, the president even said that uh, law enforcement officers have a fear of people who don't look like them. I thought it was disgusting. I really do. Milwaukee Police Chief Ed Flynn at Friday's new officer graduation said he was encouraged that people still want to be cops given the environment. Well, it's inspiring to me to see the caliber of young men and women that still want to be police officers. This is a crucial social role. And one Sheriff Clark says shouldn't be taken for granted. It's time to push back. Uh, the problem in America is not the police. Uh, the police are one of the few things left that's right about America. In Milwaukee, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News. The sheriff is paying for the radio spots from his operating budget. Last year, the sheriff's office reportedly spent about $17,000 on a series of messages focused on public awareness and crime prevention campaigns.